All right, so with all the new uh, subscribers, I thought it'd be kind of an idea what I plan on doing with this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I kind of have quite a few projects and videos lined up uh, to uh, be posted over the next few months. Uh, the next one up I have is uh, the beam planer video. I have it about 75% done. I just got to edit it and clean it up a little bit. Kind of talking about how I'm modifying a um, 5 horsepower Foley Bell's uh, 12 and a half inch uh, wood planer to plane um, beams, 24 foot beams. I'm going to modify it to um, plane my uh, 8 by 12 by 24 foot beams and whatever else, what other other beams I'm going to be doing, some 8 by 8s and stuff. Uh, I figured I'd also talk about kind of what I have going on currently that's about uh 95 percent done i'm working on a, a house mock-up i'm actually doing a shed uh with all the kind of architecture i'm going to be using in um, my house my house is going to be a sustainable uh off-grid on-grid house uh rainwater harvesting cisterns solar power which is the on-grid off-grid uh I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a gray water, black water system at this point. Um, there's some planning and zoning issues that might go into that yet that I haven't quite figured out. Uh, and I guess with that, the, the mock-up that I'm doing uh, is that shed that I was talking about. And I just design it. I design most of the stuff. This is where I'm at right now. I'm actually, we've got the... Uh, walls and stuff the beams and everything put up right now we're working on building the shelves i was just dimensioning out the lumber that i have to make uh, i've made a bunch of the lumber for the shelving units today and to finish off the ceiling stuff the ceiling stuff actually i do have a drawing right here um, kind of shows the rough pitch and uh, i don't know if that's going to make anything or if that's going to uh, uh be able to be understood unless you're an architect or some sort of drafting person that understands dimensioning but this thing right now right now is almost done uh i'll do a little bit of a video on that just to kind of give people an idea of milling lumber uh dimensioning lumber staining lumber uh fastening uh the hinge work that i did stud work that i did uh Pretty much everything that went into that that's going to translate into the house the good things the bad things what i learned uh what to look for kind of the same format that i use on everything else and then this summer uh the project that's going to be coming up once uh the shed's done and once i have um about 75 percent of the lumber cut uh, for the house it needs two years to dry to dry and i have a place to dry so um I got to get most of the lumber cut first before I get into this project. But the project that's going to come after that is actually something that I didn't mention earlier. And that's a, a parabolic uh, solar collector. I have plans. These are the plans. Uh, you can actually, I don't know if you can read this in the video, but you can see this guy's uh, website. And he has a YouTube channel and he shows it. Uh, I'm going to be using these parabolic uh, solar troughs. For the heating in my house, uh, it's going to be, um, it's going to do the water heating and then there's going to be, man, I'm spacing the name right now, uh, radiant flooring, radiant, so I'll be running PTEX through the concrete floors to uh, heat the house and it'll all be heated via those parabolic solar collectors um, and whatnot, you, or you can see the videos and he'll kind of talk about the temperatures. You can easily boil water with them, so uh, it'll be nice to have those. In addition to the high R values, high R values that I'll have in my walls, uh, I'm going to have 12-inch uh, thick walls. Uh, and, and it's going to have, uh, I think I was trying to get close to like R30 in the, in the wood walls. And then I'm going to be doing some tire work too, the, the hippie stuff. Uh, the tire walls are actually really good um, if you do if you work into thermal mass, and I'm going to be doing a lot of thermal mass stuff. So uh, for the most part, a lot of the house heating will come from thermal mass via uh, 
uh, radiant heat from the sun and stuff coming into the house being stored in the walls and all that business it's it's kind of scientific stuff i mean it's it's not new technology uh the pueblo indians and a you know a bunch of other really old cultures have used this stuff it just kind of went by the sideline with all the 1960 housing boom and um, suburbia so yeah, a lot of that stuff starting to come back uh it's not as easy as the suburbia stuff. You really have to kind of do your research on how all this technology comes together. It's not one thing. It's a, it's a multiple or a multitude of things that all have to come together correctly for it to work. So parabolic trough, uh, that's on the list. Um, the planer's on the list. I have to do. I'm going to do a video on the sawmill uh, and and everything I got going on with that. Uh, I'm going to do a video on dry storage where I'm going to be storing my timber uh, that I cut and where I'm storing the timber that I've already got harvested from, um, or not harvested, but collected from the barn. So I've got all my barn storage out there. Uh, my tin storage, I'll be doing a video on tin reclamation on how to patch galvanized tin. I actually have a sheet of galvanized tin right here uh, with bullet holes and stuff uh, that I have to that I have to um, play around with. I mentioned in another video that I've already done how I talk to the welders and I know what I gotta do to fix that so uh, I'll be doing a video on that welding the tin and patching that and then uh, shoot I've got quite a few other videos um, lined up to do but um, I'm really uh, trying to make this video to give everybody an idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here and um, trying to get uh, the subscriber numbers up it, it kind of uh, I had mentioned someplace on reddit that it really it really motivates me to see people that are interested in this kind of thing uh, and that want to learn you know how to do this or they just they just kind of like to like to see the process and stuff like that so getting more subscribers motivates me I don't make any money off of it uh, and it's kind of internet points or whatever, but um, it's kind of nice to see people subscribe and, and watching the videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm running it under my business, which is the Rocket Factory. It's actually a photography business, um, but it encompasses a lot of stuff. All my tools and everything that I use, um, they cross over uh, for the house building and the photography stuff. So um, that's where a lot of my tools originally came from. And then now I'm just, buying more tools to do the house building but uh, other than that uh, I probably will make another video like this uh, once I get more videos uh, in line and, and worked on so that's kind of the plan right now uh, I'm, I'm really busy obviously so between cutting wood and making videos um, I'll just put them out when I have the time and uh, I will let you go and give me some more subscribers. Bye.